My name is Charles Dixon. I'm a sculptor. Charles Dixon is a divinely taught individual that uh, has pursued for 59 years uh, his love of creating the, a new possibility. Um, part of that love is in expressing the beauty of black women, but of nature uh, unto itself. Uh, the whole process of the, of the, the birth process of, uh, of, uh, of being born, the process of living a life and transitioning is part of what I want to include in my work. Uh, I'm fascinated with those subjects. I first create my art for myself. As an artist, though, I'm a servant. Of, the, of humanity. So I create what is needed for people to see, to, uh, to enlighten and to heal. When I was five, I started carving wood. Wood is my basic stay or my basic way of expressing myself. But I, I like to carve anything hard. It could be a brick, be a stone. Uh, eventually I became interested in working with bronze, so that led me to clay, it led me to wax, and bronze and, and metal itself, then it led me to welding. So I, I like anything and everything that I can tell a story with. At the age of about uh, 12, <laughs> I became fascinated with just the beauty of the female form and not realizing that the black female was an actual, it was a political issue because they weren't being shown in positive light as well as they weren't being shown. So in my environment, that's what I saw. Uh, so I, I tried to mimic those forms in everything I did, found out that they were very unique unto themselves. And so it led me to study that form for the last 50 years. And when I say study the form, I have everything from photography to sketching, to body casting, to carving them, to carving them from wood, to making them in bronze, to the point to where now I'm at creating them uh, life size out of wood, which was my original intention but I used to think I had to have a big log to do it, and so now I have a recipe to assemble those forms using various hardwoods and things like that. I've shown my art uh, in uh, museums. I've shown my art in galleries. I've shown my art on the street. Uh, I've done all of the, the possibilities of showing my work uh, within the 59 years of showing it professionally. Yeah, actually, you know, my work has been seen internationally uh, through uh, gallery sources, but I've also shown across the United States. Uh, and yeah, I've been a, I've been around a while to, to to show pretty much all across the United States. Some of my work has been toured. Places that have collected my work uh, range from. Uh, Museum owns some of my work. Uh, there, I have a private, uh, uh, like a private individual, like uh, James, Dr. Hobbs, uh, among several other clients that I've done things for. Uh, I've also done public art. Public art, where I was one of the first five artists to do art for Metro Rail Green Line, and uniquely one of the, uh, those artists that was able to do art uh, where we, we had no limitations on where we put it. Everything that was going to be built, we could affect, which had never been done after our group. And then uh, I've done um, pieces that uh, for the museum, CAM Museum. I've done uh, work for uh, uh, Watts Towers Art Center as an artist in residence there. There's a large body of work since I'm, I'm there. Uh, also, I've done work, I've done a lot of work. I've done work at, um, I don't think, um, 
neighborhood land trust. I've designed uh, three stainless steel flowers, 15 foot flowers from perforated stainless steel. I've, I've uh, done the Martin Luther King Monument South Central in the, uh, um, in the shopping center there. I've done, uh, let's see, uh, I've done also uh, of the Faith and Hope Park in uh, another uh, uh, land trust project. I uh, produced 300 feet of fencing and <laughs> other stuff. I've done a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of public art things. I'm very satisfied with where I am in regards to my productivity as an artist. Uh, I've done a lot of different things. As I said earlier, I, um, I, I'm, you know, politically, I'm not satisfied with that because politically, I have to literally get into a political game of showing up with the right people in the right places. It, it, that's a job unto itself. I would prefer to be acknowledged for the work that I do and the skills that I have rather than the people I know. But that's not the politics of art. So therefore, um, I'm written about and talked about but people don't know who Charles Dixon really is. I want people to know that I have to use special devices to survive the processes that, of carving wood and working with metals and all these other things. I wear a respiratory equipment because I uh, had asthma uh, to the extent to where I was no longer able to produce my work. So I came up with uh, devices. I saw myself in a bubble, so I came up with that bubble, found that bubble to be respiratory uh, safety mask that I was able to wear. And then I found myself as an inventor, and I, because these devices were only for escape. So I started developing them so that I could wear them 24-7. So that meant that I had to come up with uh, 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 devices that would separate separate the water, separate the oil. Uh, eventually I designed a compressor that would, uh, that I could wear, I mean I could wear, but I could work off of with um, a hose. And then eventually that was up, upgraded to battery pack equipment. And then I discovered that that wasn't enough so I, I had to even modify the mask that, um, that I use today which uh, cuts out more ambient uh, gases and things like that and also protects uh, me from debris that actually hits my shield, I mean my face shield. Um, so in any case, I'm, yeah, I want people to know that despite all these handicaps as you could say, uh, because I was told that I needed to change my career, that they never stopped me. Uh, I, was, I was passionate enough to continue to do what I was doing and that um, I love what I do.